Can you move? Thank you. Hello everyone. Today I'd like to talk to you about my new pistol. I purchased it used from my local gun shop and this pistol is by far my favorite pistol of all time. And the pistol that I'm talking about is the HK USP full size and this one is in 9mm. The tan case came with it. It didn't come with a box. So what I got was the pistol, the case, and two magazines. And here she is. Go ahead and drop the mag, which is empty. And nothing inside. So this pistol came with the jet funnel attached. What the jet funnel does is, of course, extends the grip so you have a little bit more purchase on the gun. And once you have the jet funnel installed, you can no longer use the regular flush fit 15 round magazines. So, like I said, this one came with two magazines and the magazines that do fit this is the 18 round jet funnel magazines. And they look like this kind of white a little bit odd looking but I like them I was kind of hesitant about them at first because uh you know it's kind of white you never see a white magazine but you can clearly see the bullets on all sides when it's loaded well here look this magazine has bullets in it and you can see all of them all the way down and like I said they hold 18 rounds as opposed to 15 rounds with the normal mags so yeah. This gun though, I, I believe I picked one up in the beginning when I was going through all the guns and looking through a lot of them. But when I picked this one up initially, it just didn't feel that great in my hand. I was young. I did not know what I liked. <laughs> so that's why I immediately kind of dismissed it. But, uh, after a little while and after shooting a few guns, I have determined that this is the perfect grip for my hand. My hands are kind of longer and skinnier. So this grip seems to fit my hand perfectly. And a couple other things about this pistol is unlike the VP9 that I did have, this one is hammer fired and instead of striker fired. So this started out as a, a variant one and the safety and decocker was on this side, the left side, but it kind of got in my way when I was shooting. It would uh, kind of get in the way of this back thumb. So what I did was I ordered the decocker variant three and I swapped them around to this other side. So now the decocker and safety is right here. And you know, that would be safety or safe. And then that would be fire. And then when the hammer's back and you want to decock it, you just push it down. I will tell you, after I installed the decocker on this right hand side, for some reason, the sucker is very stiff. Um, you got to kind of push it down with some force, but it's no big deal because I don't really use it that much. I just like it there just, just because, and you can go cocked and lock like the old 1911s if you want, or just pull it down and you'll have that double action strike right off the bat which is not that bad. This, okay, so this this gun, when 
I got it. They told me it has had some trigger work done to it. And they didn't tell me exactly what was done, but this trigger is a little bit better than your normal uh, USP stock triggers. So you got your, okay. You got your double action that looks like this. And I'm not sure how many pounds it is, but I'm sure somebody knows on one. And then your single action is gonna be right there. Now this is horrible view. Let me go this way with it. Okay. So your double action right there. And then this is your reset right there and then take up right there and single fire so yeah that's basically my new favorite pistol of all time the HK USP 9mm and I just wanted to share it with all of you guys I added the Talon grips on here <laughs> it was kind of my old Talon grips that I had on another gun so they're not most perfect thing but they made the pistol feel a little bit better in my hand not that it was bad to begin with it had a very nice grip but i like the rubberized talon grips on my pistols and this one another thing when i got this one he had whoever had it before me had the fiber optic front sight which i kind of like i like an orange dot or a red dot, a red dot. I like a red dot on the front, on my front sight. And I like a blacked out rear. Let's see. I can show it to you guys. That's the black, or that's the back. And then that's what the, yeah, point the pistol right at yourself. That's great. Yeah. But yeah, you see it. So yeah, this is the HK. USP full size and I do believe I'll be getting the expert very soon this is why I love this pistol another day. another reason watch how they got the ambidextrous European mag ejector and it's on both sides I actually prefer it now I used to like the the dot the um, button right here but now I prefer this one because I can I can even I can I can hit it with my thumb or I can hit it with my first finger. I kind of like I kind of like hitting it with my first finger um, the best. But this is why I love the USPs. When you take this magazine, it snaps in very easily, and then when you eject it, it shoots out of there. You see that? You see how easy that was? It's one thing that bothers me about the Glock. The, um, the magazine does not like to come out of there very easily. I'm a huge fan of that. So, that's my HK USP, and I'm looking to get the HK USP Expert, which has just a little bit longer barrel on the end of it. But that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you on the next video. Take care.